Hey guys, thanks for joining me on Neri's Kitchen. Today we have a special guest, Coach Jessica in the house, to share us her special recipe on how to make a healthier version of a Filipino dish called kare kare. <laughs> did I say that right? Yeah, okay. You did. <laughs> Today I, I'm focusing more on making your favorites into healthy because a lot of the times we always fall off because we're like, oh, I want that ice cream, but it has all the calories, so why not? think like, hey, I want to make this dish um, healthy and then make sure I get my nutrients and like everything else going towards that. And then that way you don't have to always go back to like the, the bad version of it. Okay. So today I have lentils and just onions, steamed veggies that normally go into our kare kare. Um, I also have alternatives for salt. So this is um, soy sauce. I find it. I found it at No Frills, and it basically just has coconut sap in it, so it's not like as bad for if you had refined sugar or white sugar that most soy sauce has. And then for peanuts, you always want to check the label because, like, you want to make sure it says just peanuts because sometimes it has like fillers. Uh, today, I'm working with my own broth. I, I made it with uh, mushroom base, which is right here, and um, kelp. So if you wanted more of like an antioxidant or just like a health, obviously like feeling good, not too heavy, this is a very good flavor booster. Um, I did this for 20 minutes last night and I let it steep, um, but you can always use other broths as well. And then just like for future reference to lentils is has a lot of protein in it and carb carb content but it's good for workouts i noticed it yesterday when i was working out i had like all healthy ingredients and i did like four workouts oh, <laughs> so it was, wow. good. it was good it really matters what you put in your body mm -hmm. so with. jessica for those that don't know yeah. what a kare kare so uh, basically meal is. Kare kare was developed like it, the brief history of it is it's supposed to mean curry curry because it has that yellow that yellow tinge in the in the dish, and we were taken over by I forget but who was taken over but that's how the dish got developed in the uh, ancient times. Um, they wanted to combine like beef and like what we had available in that origin. And then peanut butter was the only thing we had at the time, so then they added that. So Jessica, for those that are on our belly burn challenge, can you let us know what the nutritional information is on this on this version of yours? So um, with the base is about 500 calories, which has, um, I haven't memorized it, but when I saw it, we had low fat, um, low carb or high carb and high protein, which means like, when you pair anything with a high protein, it's good. So then you'll be able to use it for macro. I have the macros on it. Now, when you add protein to it, um, it'll change. Um, I did this one. So one serving is 140 grams. So it would be 200, adding on 270 if you were to use a whole serving. But if you want to go quart a quarter of it, because this is actually really good without it, I thought. Um, then you just adjust accordingly. Yeah, actually, I've never tried kare kare ever. Oh, never. nice. So this is my first time. I'm going to get, you know, I'll try it without the meat. Yeah. It's very nice, very creamy. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. I liked it. <laughs> Drones from rubbing his stomach. <laughs> yeah, it's so good. I always, and always try your food in between just so that when it's ready, like you're excited to have it and just eat it. Absolutely. Yeah. Well, thank you so much, Coach Jessica, for sharing us your version of a healthier kare kare. Thanks, guys, for tuning in. I'll see you next week. Bye. Bye, guys.